I'm a Kurdish writer and human rights defender coming from southeastern Turkey. And I am one of the few people who, are, who still reports from the inside the Turkish Kurdish conflict, from the ancient heart of the Kurds, from the city of Diyarbakir. Uh, the peace process between the Turkish state and the Kurdistan Workers' Party closed in, 2000, in July 2015. And in August of 2015, clashes began in Kurdish cities. And the state declared military curfews in Kurdish cities throughout the southeastern Turkey. And at first, the military curfews was ju just for a few days. But after a while, then the curfews became month-long and long curfews. And I would like to tell a bit about what curfew means in Turkey. Uh, the, bomb, uh, the days went on under bombs and gunfire, and the people in the curfew areas were trapped in their houses as, as they continued their lives with limited food and water that they had stockpiled before the curfew. People died inside their homes as shrapnel hit their houses. The state even did not allow the families to bury their dead. In some cities like Jizre, the mo mothers put the dead bodies of their children into their, in their refrigerator to prevent their decomposition. In my city, Diyarbakir, dead bodies remained in the streets for months. We witnessed terrible human rights violations and war crimes. And there is no place for the ongoing war and human rights violations in Turkish media today. Furthermore, there is no political access for Kurdish people. So I took an active role to inform the public about what's really happening in the region. And my aim is to bring awareness to and to stop these war crimes and human rights violations that continue in my region of Kurdistan. And because of that, I have been threatened and harassed by paramilitaries, by the deep state in Turkey and some of my articles unlawfully banned in Turkey. And there are charges against me because of what I have written. And every day we have news of detentions, uh, arrests, and torture. And we, need to, uh, we have to live through these news while waiting for our turn. And for a long time, because now in, the, in our region there are really a few people left who are still writing. And I, for a long time, I have asked myself, why am I still living in this city, in the city of Diyarbakir? And I have asked myself this question millions, million times. And the answer is simple. Because I am recording the history, Sh someone should be witness. The history books still continue to be written by executioners. And the truth needs to find a place in history. And I feel my responsibility to record the truth for the future. Thank you.